Hello and welcome to Don Amots. My name's Adam and today I'm going to be showing you around one of our latest arrivals. We've got a 2020 Bailey Autograph 794F. So it's 7.9 metres, it's a four berth motorhome with a French bed. It's a 2020 and it's only done 755 miles from new, so less than a thousand miles on the clock. Um, it's a 165 brake horsepower on a Peugeot. So let's have a look around and see what we've got. Most things come as standard on a Bailey Autograph. It's one of the highest spec motorhomes you can get. We've got the alloy wheels. Up on the top there, it comes with a solar panel as standard. Also got the nice graphics. New electrical hookup point just there. Uh, gas locker there, room for two gas bottles. And your water fill is just there. You just need a special connector for that. Moving further down, we've got end washroom on this one. So your toilet cassette is just in the back. Round onto the back, we've got reverse camera and fittings for a bike rack, should you want to add one onto there. Round onto the passenger side, we've got the vent for your Aldi heating, so it's the wet central heating system on this one. Storage under the bed, I'll show you that inside the van as well, but you do have access to it from the outside. Up to the top, we've had a full length dual canopy fitted to this one. We've got external gas points, so you can just plug your barbecue straight into it. Fridge and freezer vents. On this side of the door, we've got an external socket for outside, so under your awning, you want anything like that you want to plug in. And then we've got more storage underneath one of your front benches, really deep storage locker. We've got um, fuel point just there, this one is add blue. And you can see your TV aerial just up on the roof up there. So let's go on inside. On the Autograph range as well, they, are, they do weigh just over three and a half tonnes, so you will need your C1 entitlement on your licence. Come on in, let's move down towards the cab. Yeah. With it being on the Peugeot, it's a six-speed manual gearbox. As I said, 755 miles on the clock. We've got sat-nav, um, we've got your reverse camera, which we saw outside. Cab air conditioning, we've got cruise control, cab blinds all the way around on your windscreen and your driver and passenger door. Drink holders down there, really important accessory for your motorhome. Got your two captain swivel chairs. And then into the lounge. Um, this does make up to a bed at the front. We've got your extra two travelling seats here. So you've got driver, passenger and two in the rear. Loads of storage. You've got your solar charger up there as well. Your water hose that I mentioned. And then on this side we've got more storage as well. TV aerial and your literature is in there. Skylight letting in lots of light. It does light up really nicely. You can see we've got the lights on at the moment. Underneath your locker here, really, really deep that is. I don't think the camera will do it just to show you how deep that locker is. And then on the other side, we've got more storage as well. Fuses, trips and switches. And then you've got storage underneath this one. Yeah. Moving down into the kitchen. Mind the step, Wendy. We don't want to lose you. <laughs> um, on your door, you've got blind, fly screens, bin main control panel for the van and your smoke alarm carbon monoxide alarm there is a tv point there should you want to add a tv and then over into the kitchen we'll start the top over here you've got your microwave plenty of storage nice splashback the heating for your aldi uh, the heating sorry your control panel for your heating your aldi heating on there you've got your sink and draining board and then you've got extra work surface here, which if you lift up, you can see your hob and your cooker. So we've got three ring gas hob and one electric plate, separate grill, separate oven. And we've got plenty of drawer storage. They are soft clothes as well, look. Yeah. There we go, like so. Let me just pop this down. So you've got one double bed makes up at the front. Before we get into the one at the rear, sorry. We've got more storage at the top. And we've got the tall fridge and freezer compartment. These do open either way, which I always think is really good. So if you close them, open them from this side. Really clever design. Plenty of room for your beer and wine and milk in there. Um, more storage underneath. And then into the bedroom, you do have a, a partition. There's a screen just here, which I'm going to just pull out. Comes across. So if you do have guests in the front or the kids, anything like that, you can partition yourself off. And it just clips away for traveling in the bedroom we've got loads more storage lockers they're really deep lockers 
shelving in there and same on this side at the back more storage French bed so it's a double bed with a corner cut off and then if I lift this up you can see the locker that we saw from the outside you've got infill cushions from the front boiler and your table just in here you can have that up in the front if you want to but you've got a table there another freestanding table there so you've got two tables in the autograph it just stows away nicely and neatly under there that just pulls down over onto this side massive wardrobe got a hanging rail you've got your aldi fluid just in there and some shelving for all your possessions another storage cupboard we've got plug socket and another tv point in the bedroom just there along with a mirror here which is really handy and then more storage under there Lots of storage. there is great family van loads of storage and then down into the back we've got separate washroom separate shower which is always a bonus we've got your toilet you've got your radiator in here loads more storage for your toiletries nice sink and we've got more storage underneath the sink as well and then round to your separate shower cubicle i'm quite tall so you can see there's plenty of room in here loads of room skylight as well for ventilation so it's just arrived with us here in hilton at our showground as i said it's done 755 miles you don't see many like this it's been really really well looked after it's in immaculate condition if you've got any questions need any help my name's adam please give me a call i'm part of the sales team and we're all more than happy to help thank you